Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how I make surgical hats for my Etsy shop. I have the link to the pattern in the description below if you would like to try this DIY tutorial. I'll start by pinning the pattern to my fabric on the fold. This will be the top of the cap and will have a lot of room to hold all the hair. Next we will cut the front of the cap using both printed fabric and the terry cloth for sweat absorption. Next, cut two of the bands that will attach around the circumference of the cap and will hold the drawstrings for the adjustment. The cording I'll be using today is going to be parachute cord. I'm not a fan of these but they get the job done and are rather inexpensive. Cut two 11 inch cords and burn the ends so that they don't fall apart. Line and pin the terry cloth to the wrong side of the fabric. Take the two bands that we cut out and pin them both to the ends of the front piece, right sides together. I searched the two ends of the bands to prevent fraying. You could skip this step if you do not own a serger. Make a half inch fold as shown in the video and secure it with a pin. Do this to both sides of the band. Now sew the cording on both sides right at the seam about half an inch from the center. This does not have to be super accurate as long as you don't sew it close to the edge. I like to attach safety pins to the ends of the cords to make it easy to get them through the channel we will be making. Now fold the entire piece and pin it all together.
Once it's all pinned, you can see how easy the safety pins make it to pull the cording through the channel and create beautiful scrunching. Now take your circle and mark four points on each side of the circle. Now since I have a directional pattern, I will have to be super careful to mark my points for pleating on the side I want facing forward. Mark a point that is two and a half inches away from the center on each side. Now mark eight one inch points from the two and a half inch mark. These will be used for the pleats. Do this on both sides. The pattern will have these points marked out for you. Once this is done, you can top stitch if you want, but I have done this many times, so I'll just go ahead and attach the front piece to the top now. Find the center of the front piece and match it to the center front of the top piece and start pinning around the circumference. Now search or stitch around. You can see how the two ends of the band don't have to meet at the center back. This is on purpose because we want to leave room for the toggle lock. Pull the cording through the channel and insert the two ends through the toggle and there you go. Your very own personalized scrub cap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and visit my Etsy page if you would like to purchase the pattern or any scrub caps.